Oh man, look at that rear, look at the mirror. If you can, really quick. Look at the sky in the in the side view mirror. That looks amazing. That kind of like green, orange tinge, that looks really cool. We're gonna be crossing a bridge here? What's going on? What is this? I know there's a speed camera coming up. I don't know what the speed limit is. We'll just stick to 70. Oh, it's 50? 50 kilometers? You've gotta be shitting me. This is way too slow. No, that can't be right. 50 kilometers. They use miles per hour, don't they? Yeah, 50 miles per hour. That has to be what it is. I don't know. I have no traffic on my side of the road to tell. <laughs> Nobody's driving this direction. I can't tell how fast technically 50. I'm pretty sure they use miles per hour. And 50 miles per hour is 70, my, 70 kilometers an hour? Is it? Oh, shit. What is it? I don't know. I don't think my truck can do the conversion. Showing me... Well, no. Look. Here we go. So the digital is the kilometers and the actual speed is... So if we get it up to 50, it's like 80 miles... That's like 80 kilometers an hour. That's pretty quick. Well, in a truck. So here we go. 50. Yeah. Boom. As you can see, I'm at 50 or around there and then I'm also at uh, I need to get over oh, I just got a car off I think but okay yeah so 50 miles per hour is 80 kilometers yeah I was like there's no way that it was 50 kilometers that's like 30 miles an hour I was like this isn't right at all 30 miles per hour on a bridge can I turn my headlights off now this looks so much better I'm probably gonna get a ticket but whatever I'll risk it so tired of the headlights on the ground. But yeah, as I was saying in the last episode, I would really love to pull tandems in an American truck sim. Um, just to be able to run two trailers would be really, really cool. So maybe a mod can take care of that if it's not in uh, ATS by default, but only time will tell. I mean, I don't really know what their plans are. I mean, I'm really interested in seeing what the drop-off points are like. I know they release that hour-long... I need to go watch that again, actually. You know what? What? Oh, shit, if I have the time... I don't know if I'm going to. If I have the time, I'm going to watch that uh, video they put out. They put out a video about, you know, like, what was it? 45 minutes or an hour of gameplay, like, really long ago. The game probably looks nothing like it anymore. Uh, but they put that out, like, quite some time ago. And, um... I should go back and look, because what I was going to say was I'm really interested in seeing the drop-off points. I want to see what the drop-off points are like, because I know from the uh, was it Scandinavia DLC that they got really interesting with the drop-off points. Everywhere else, like the Going East expansion, all that stuff, they kind of stuck with the same just uniform buildings, this big yard, and you just pull in and you back the trailer into a dock and you're done. But with the Scandinavia DLC, they really did some interesting stuff. Like, you were dropping off at, like, these weird places. Like, if you were hauling food, more than likely you would have to drop it off at, like, a grocery store. Um, which is really interesting. So I'm really interested in seeing how they're gonna do that in American Truck Sim. And by the time you guys see this video, uh, ATS will be out in uh, eight days. So... <laughs> That is crazy. Eight days. That is nuts. Obviously, it's not eight days for me right now in real life, but... For you guys, if you're watching this on the day of release, it is, so... Where's the line? Am I not on the line? Is this a line? It's so hard to tell. <laughs> this snow is gonna go for sure. It's nice. It's not gonna... It's just... As soon as I'm done with this run, I'm gonna take it out. But... Yeah, so it's, um... I don't know. I, I, I'm interested in seeing how they do the drop-offs. That's one thing I'm really going to be interested in. So, it's also going to be kind of nice starting over again. You know, like, having to unlock things for your truck and having to build a business and hire drivers and garages and all that sorts. I don't know what's happening here, but I'm going to change lanes. Oh my god, I went a little bit in, into the median there. 
But yeah, so I'm just interested in seeing how speed camera. What is the speed? Anybody see a speed sign anywhere? I feel like I'm going a little quick. Am I good? I think I'm good. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just interested in seeing how they uh, how they do that wrong blinker. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But yeah, no, it's going to be nice being having to build all that stuff again. You know, all that. Just, you know, just build the game. Build your company up again. It's going to be nice. Because at this point in ETS2, I'm pretty established. I don't really even make the money for myself. I have a bunch of drivers that drive for me. So, you know, I don't... I, all I could really do is I could just leave this game running, like, all night long and just have a ton of money in there, you know? I don't know. It just doesn't... You know, there's not much of a challenge not building something anymore. So it, it's going to be nice to restart and have nothing and have to work my way to something. The only thing that's going to suck is if there's a really nice truck. Like, if there's a Cascadia or a Century and I can't buy it because I don't have enough or I haven't unlocked it, that's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> that's going to drive me real nuts real quick. So... We'll see. I have zero idea where the where, where the road is. Okay, I'm in a lane. Jesus. Oh, are we here? Holy shit. Yeah, we are. Oops. Wow. Okay. Um. Hmm. This is gonna be a pretty short video. Uh. Ooh. Trying to figure out what I'm gonna do here. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh, shit. Speed sign again. I don't know where... I don't know what the speed is, but I feel like I'm going way over it. Is it 50? Or is it 30? I think it's 30. There, I'm going to go... I'm going to go 50. Yeah, must have been 30. I just had a bunch of different numbers. Like, that didn't... <laughs> I was all over the... 50? 30? I'm gonna go 50. It's 30. Okay, good. <laughs> you hanging with me? God. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm either gonna have one really short ETS2 video, or... Like, one really long one. Um, can I do this? Oh, yeah, I can if I don't fuck my trailer on the freaking... Oh my god. We're good. All good. Is it here? I think it is. And clear. I have to bring this thing in the back. I think we might be good. We might be all right. Maybe we'll pick out our next run in this episode so you guys know what's coming up. Because we got to do more episodes. Um, because I don't think we're gonna we're not gonna have enough to be able to get that last skill point. I I can feel it. There's no way we were like. A couple thousand experience points away so definitely not gonna be something that is just done off of one trip yeah sure this was a 2,000 kilometer trip which is pretty big but still not gonna get all the experience points that I need so maybe we'll pick the we'll pick the load here so you guys know what's what's happening next okay let's try to Let's try to get this lined up. Ooh, I like this right here. Hold on. Right. Right. There. Hold on. Wait. One little more movement. Okay, gotta go a little forward. There. Perfect. Alright. Parking brake on. Engine off. Let's just make sure real quick. So, we're here at Tuesday at 944 in the morning, 9.45 in the morning, and we needed to be there at Wednesday at uh, 2.20. So we're uh, more than 24 hours early. So let's go ahead and drop the trailer, and let's check it out. So we drove a total distance of 1,975 kilometers. It took us 28 hours and 50 minutes. We consumed 695 liters of fuel, we got 
40,000 euro. Uh, or actually, no, we got a total of 74,000 euro and a total of 2,500 XP. Uh, but we're still a little about, uh, what is that? 35, 3,400 uh, away from, right? 3,400 XP away from uh, the next level. So not the greatest. Uh, I mean, 3,400 XP, that's quite a lot. Um, one thing is I do, that's a fucking huge trip. Uh, <laughs> but look how much money. Dang, that is a lot of money. The one thing I do want to do is go back into Europe. I don't want to be in the UK. Uh, do we really? We don't want to do that super long one, do we? Oh, it is like a special delivery. It's a high value cargo and it's important. This one's fragile and urgent. So how fast do I have to get it there? It's expected Wednesday at, what is that, 7 p.m.? No. Yeah, 7 p.m. Wednesday at 7 p.m. That's not, that's a, that's a little over 24 hours to get from there across and then to there. That is pretty quick. Uh, and it's like half the price, too. And it's still 900-something kilometers. This one's 2,100. We go all the way to freaking... Slovakia. Holy shit, dude. We go all the way through the UK, a little bit into France, through Belgium, all the way through Germany, through Poland, into Slovakia. Uh. Oh, God. We're going to do this one, aren't we? Are we going to do this? Do we do this? This is what we're doing? I think this is what we're doing. Okay, let's do it. We did it. We're doing it. Let's go pick it up. Oh, it's right around the corner. Okay. I was like, wait, where is it? Okay. Let's go get this trailer. And then that's where we'll end the episode. Actually, before I go get that, let's run to the repair shop real quick. I want to repair my truck. We do have, what is it, 8% damage on it? Yeah, so we need to get that fixed. So, oh, what is this traffic? Oh, roundabout. Okay. Oh, you letting me out? Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Didn't realize you were going to do that. Okay, how do I... Okay, okay, okay. If I just... You're... I don't know roundabouts. Don't yell at me. I don't understand them. They don't make sense to me. We don't have them around here. There's no need for me to learn roundabouts. Okay. We're gonna run here real quick to repair our truck. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, let's enter. All we're gonna do is uh, service the truck. There we go. No more damage on it. Always a nice feeling. And let's get out of here. Alright, let's go get our trailer. Get hooked on. And uh, we'll be good to... Oh shit, this guy's flying. Holy shit, truck. Jesus. I was already going. I had to, I had to keep it going. Oh god. Sorry. I'm an American. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. Alright, let's hook onto this. Are you serious? It's this entrance. Why? Why? Why is this still an entrance? Hmm. Okay. So, let's accept this one. So we're going to get 109,000 euros, but it, it's going to, it's this 2,100 a kilometer trip, which is pretty much what we just did, but all the way back. Um, we only have 60 kilometers on a ferry, so it doesn't really do much, and uh, should take us about 35 hours 
according to the game. So, we'll see. Hook on to it. And also, just to let you guys know, snow will be gone when we return to ETS-2. There won't be snow for this next run. Uh, I'm over the snow at this point. It's time to get back to the normal ETS-2 experience. Whoops, hit the wrong button. Turn the truck off. Turn the truck off. Okay, we are just going to turn it back off, but I just wanted to make sure. All right, let's turn that off. Do everything, and we're good. So yeah, in the next trip, I will start this journey 2,100 kilometers. Huge trip. Obviously going to be a multi-part trip, but that should be enough to finish off. I might do some really, depending, depending on how long it takes me to do this trip, I might do really long ETS-2 videos uh, so I don't kind of overlap into the release of ATS because it is coming up. So this might be the last trip in ETS-2 we ever do. I don't know. Um, but join me next time. Euro Trucks more than likely will be from here until the release of ATS, which is February 3rd. ETS 2s will continue to go up more than likely on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time until February 3rd. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit the like button. It really does help me out. Let's me know that you guys are wanting to see more trucking videos so I can figure out how I want to work American Truck Sim into the schedule. And uh, let me know in the comments if you want American Truck Sim to be pretty regular. I can kind of see if I can work it in somehow. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.